So graft versus host disease occurs when the donor cells in the stem cell transplant recognize the normal body of the patient into whom they've been transplanted and attack that normal body and cause problems. It comes in two variants, acute and chronic. In the acute form, the donor cells attack the skin, the liver, and or the GI tract, and that tends to occur 30 days through the first several months after the transplant. In the chronic form, which long-term survivors of transplant have to deal with more frequently and is again the single most significant long-term complication of the transplant, a potential complication of the transplant, the disease can do all kinds of different things. It can attack the eyes, cause dry eyes, attack the mouth, cause mouth sores, dry mouth, it can attack the skin, cause loss of pigmentation in the skin, cause tightening of the skin, it can attack the joints, cause loss of flexibility in the joints, can attack the lungs, can, uh, can attack the GI tract, making it difficult to maintain weight, can do lots and lots of different things. The spectrum of severity of what it can do ranges from not happening at all to potentially being a very, very difficult, potentially ultimately lethal thing.